What up YouTube, your boy the Flying Spanner here. Today, it's been a while since I've said that. Uh, today we have a model aircraft unboxing. I was gonna say a model airport unboxing, but no, it's not that big, it is not an airport. I can assure you it's just a few models. Um, so, first off, apologies once again. I do seem to be apologizing every single video uh, because I have been inactive, yada, 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 yada. Uh, I'm working Monday to Friday at the moment, which only gives me the weekends up here in uh, Manchester at home uh, to kind of sort my life out. Well, sort the stuff out that I'd normally do in the case of four days, um, but I'm only doing it in the space of two days. That'll be back. Um, that'll be back, kind of back to normal after towards the end of March. Uh, actually, to be honest, start of April. Um, is when we'll be back. So, going back to the models, in here we have three models in this DHL box and one model from eBay on here. So this one I believe is a custom, is going to be a custom model, uh, so I'm not going to focus too much on this one. So, it is, the custom model is a brand I've never heard before. I can't remember what they called it. It's called Dream Air, um, and it's a Tiger Air A320. Um, I got this purely because it was going for a cheap price. I think it was only like 15, 20 pound. Um, and yeah, then they're, it looks quite nice. It's a 320 with shark blitz. Uh, it's got IAE engines, the V2500s, um, but I've, I think I've got a few spare CFM, so very versatile uh, and useful. Uh, so this one, the box design, it's kind of like a JT Wings box, but the design is like a Phoenix. So God knows where they've got their mould from. I'm just going to check it just in case. Um, it's got a Dragon Wings leaflet in it, so any secret message on here? No, it's just a Dragon Wings leaflet. Well, the reason that was in there, I was hoping it's not... Well, to be fair, even if it was Dragon Wings, I don't really mind because I quite like Dragon Wings. Especially for customs. It's very funky and everything, isn't it, Tommy Rare? Yeah, the wings are still there, if it's still attached. I think that's a Phoenix. Oh, uh, yeah, it was missing a, a nose landing gear. That was it. That looks like a Phoenix to me. Not even really too sure. Don't really mind that much. It's going straight into the customs tub, which is forever growing and expanding. It's very up and down on how many models go into the custom tub. So this one, something different with this. Um, so I've got three models in here. It's actually come from America. Um, I got this from Waffle Collectibles, I think. Uh, it's Mika Waffle that runs it. He's quite active on the forums. Um, but I got a, I saw it and a special model in here, which I saw ages ago. Um, it's only available in the US. It went out of stock. I didn't get my hands on it, but I really wanted to get my hands on it. So I've managed to get it in this one. And there's another two models in there, um, uh, which are, yeah, well, they're in there as well. Don't really know what I was going to say with that. But yeah, it's come from the US. So uh, first time in a while using a US seller and it's been, I used DHL for the postage. Uh, it, I think I ordered it on the Friday, Thursday or Friday, um, and it was already out for delivery on the Monday. So, um, super quick DHL service. I think it was about forty or fifty dollars to get it posted over to the UK, which actually, to be fair, in the grand scheme of things, isn't actually that bad. Right. So, first model we're getting to. So this is kind of a bit of a gamble model. So it's the NG models, uh, DHL A330 Freighter. Well, of course it's DHL, it's not going to be a passenger, is it? Um, on the website, it was listed as scratched or dented. It was only $5. So I've, I've wanted this model for a while. I've been looking at it, I'm like, mm, do I get it or not? So I saw it, $5. Okay, yeah, times are tough at the moment, but I thought, go on then, I'll go for it. Um, I don't know what state... I'm shaking it, there's not really anything going on, so that's generally good. Um, so let's have a 
can have a little look around the box, standard NG box. Um, this is going to be a surprise and just see what it looks like. So for five dollars, are you joking? Is that it? Oh, oh, okay. Right. Is it missing that stab? Yes, it's just missing a stab. A stab is a stabiliser, so the back. Oh, okay, I'm happy with that. I could probably resell if I really wanted to. Probably touch up that paint and probably resell it again for £8 or something. All I need is a 330 stabiliser, and I think I've got one of those somewhere. <laughs> Funny enough. And the engine fell off. Right, the engine's back on. A little bit of paint missing on this underbelly. I'll to put. Oh, I nearly stopped it. Let's go two times. Two times. So, a little bit of paint missing. Yes, it is missing a stabiliser. Um, the website was completely blank on what the issues were. Missing a stabiliser, and there's a little bit of paint missing kind of above, just above the wing root where the wing had fallen out. Um, I'm kind of happy with that because even, even with pictures and on an airport update, you can always just use this side. So, um, oh, for five dollars, I'm, I'm definitely not complaining. That's actually a really good deal. I, they didn't on the website didn't say anything about um, what was missing, what state the model was in. For all I know, a model that could have had massive sink rot and uh, could have just been folded in half could have turned up and be like, all right, fair enough, I paid five dollars. Five dollars for an aircraft that's missing a stabilizer. Not really too worried about that. It's not great. It's not an ideal situation, but also it's not terrible. Right, that over there. Hopefully you can't see the box in the corner. Can you? No, you can't really. I'll save that one for last, that's a special one. Right, next one. We have an NG Models Aero Mexico 737-800. Um, so I checked Punta Cana or somewhere in the Caribbean where I'm basing the airport. Aero Mexico flew into there. So I haven't got an Aero Mexico short haul model, so I thought, well, I'll have a look. Um, I think this was released back in 2020. Um, and of course, everywhere in the UK and Europe and wherever it's out of stock, uh, can't be found. And to get myself over the £100 PayPal threshold, um, I had to buy another model. So what I did, I thought I saw this one available. I thought, yeah, I'll go for that one. So yeah, another new model. This kind of haulage that I've gone for is uh, pretty good. So perfect MGs as per usual. No issues at all with construction. We're zooming on, trying to follow the camera. Yeah, Aero Mexico, it's a nice little livery that, especially on the small ones. Well, nice. That'd be uh, operating Mexico City and maybe a Cancun linkage or something like that. Very nice model. Happy with that. This is uh, turning into a good little, uh, good little unboxing. Well, for me anyway. What about you guys? If you did like it, you probably would have already left. Right, on to the special one. We have do, 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 the Delta A330 900 Neo in the Team USA livery. So I see this around Heathrow. It comes into Heathrow quite frequently. Um, and it looks really nice. So I've always liked the look of it. And um, when I saw it be released or made by Gemini, I was like, hmm, wouldn't quite mind. Wouldn't mind a uh, piece of that, which I they, it wasn't announced anywhere in UK retailers, I don't think. Um, I think it was near enough a US exclusive, or the only ones I've seen have been in the US. So um, when I saw it come back available, re, re in stock, or back in stock, or re in stock, um, I had to have it. So uh, yeah, that kind of uh, made the whole box worthwhile. Let's go through the box. Uh, so a bit different, standard Gemini actual construction box. Um, only difference being it's uh, got some funky little texturing on it so very nicely done I'll give them their due it's all faded and how I like my fading how I always think sometimes NG lack is well not lack but this is it feels very look at that it just fades all the way around there's no bulkiness there's white down here when it fades into white etc 
very nicely designed box. You can tell they thought about this, um, which probably makes it a bit special. Gemini actually thought about something that wasn't Emirates. Um, so under the, under the flap, hopefully that's in focus. I can't quite tell. If you would like to read, please pause. Uh, otherwise, we'll uh, get back on. So yeah, sides are nice. Standard Gemini, really. Just uh, a bit different. I'm carrying on a A330 type course and learning all diff different bits about the aircraft and uh, I do the Neo at the end, so that's gonna be fun. Right, wings are on, stabilizer and towers on. Everything's there. This looks lovely. I saw they released the Virgin A330 Neo. I'm definitely gonna get, I already pre-ordered two of the Phoenix ones and uh, I'll order one of the Geminis as well. I do really like the 330 Neo. Full soft spot for it, I think. So that looks stunning to me anyway. So if we start off at the front, hopefully. My phone will probably flip on the camera as well 20 times. Right, getting out of focus. Into focus? No. Oh. Why am I such a pain? I'll just go from there. Very nice. I really, really like it. The little sharklet winglet things. Are they sharklets? What are they called on the Neos and the 350s? They're just blended wings, really. On the top. Looks nice. Ah, so each. Okay, so one side, a little, little bit of detail. So under the Delta logo and under the American flag. If it ever decides to focus, please. There we go. So that side's got the Paralympic logo, and uh, this side has the Olympic logo. Oh, that's a really nice model. I'm, I'm happy with that. This has been quite good. Gear tilts nicely, engines look good. Uh, it's all, of course, together, which is a result. So, yeah, that's a nice end to the video, I'd say. Um, I've got a couple other models that, do you know what, I haven't done an unboxing. I won't do an unboxing, but I haven't told anyone yet that I've got them. I picked them up from Aviation Retail Direct uh, a couple of weeks ago, just never did a unboxing. Uh, FedEx 76 Freighter and uh, now on the floor, a uh, UPS 757, which I've been looking for for a while. Managed to find both of them, which is good. Those are a couple of weeks ago but yeah that's uh that's been a nice touch to the end of the video i'm really happy about it it looks really good um thank you very much for watching i'm going to try and get some kind of airport update out i don't know when um <laughs> i'm also making a video on how to make a custom model um so keep an eye out for that one whenever that gets done because it's bad enough to be making the full models themselves um but yeah we'll see so thank you very much for watching the video hope you've enjoyed it and have a very good weekend i'll see you in the next one adios and goodbye